guys welcome to my channel today we're making east african chapatis for those who don't know this is a kind of bread or actually it is a flat bread that is normally served with so many dishes curries stews vegetables you can also enjoy it as it is for breakfast the list is endless if you're new to my channel kindly don't forget to subscribe as well as click on the notification button below so you get notified each time i upload a new video so to start with you want to mix the dry ingredients i have five cups of all-purpose flour here and a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of sugar the sugar is optional but i feel it sort of helps balance the salt and give the chapati some nice flavor so i'm just going to add in the salt then the sugar some people like to sift their flour but i normally skip that give this a good mix using a wooden spoon or a spatula or your hands I'm just going to mix this in the flour until properly combined next we're just going to prepare the dough you want to make them well in the middle and then add water a little at a time and I'm using warm water you don't want cold water otherwise the chapati will turn out hard so we're just going to add some more and if the dough gets too sticky then feel free to add more flour that's totally normal you can use an electric mixer or your hands for this just what's more convenient for you I grew up using my hands and that's what I'm always using the dough is starting to take form and get silky and next we're going to add some melted ghee I'm using melted ghee you can also use butter or regular cooking oil as I mentioned a little at a time so I've just added in two and a half tablespoons of oil and as you can see the dough now looks soft pliable and smooth so once you're done kneading you want to cover the bowl with a damp piece of cloth or cling film which some people call plastic wrap and we're just going to allow this to rest for at least 30 minutes on the countertop in the kitchen so my dough has rested for about 30 minutes and you'll even tell by the texture it's really soft and silky and it's gonna be easy to work with when it's like that so the next step is to roll it out and you want to lightly dust a wooden rolling board or your kitchen counter with flour so you want to get your dough shape it into a big ball then divide it further into small balls there's so many ways of rolling out chapati but um, this is the way I grew up doing it to half the reason I'm doing this is that I want the chapatis to be as equally sized as possible then I'm going to divide again each piece of quarter into two and then one final time and then you just want to shape them into equally sized balls like this it takes practice but um, don't really bother about it don't really bother about the shape or main thing is that they taste good you can also sort of measure it by weighing it in your hand and if it feels too light or too small just pinch out a bit of dough and stick it in in the middle and then just use your thumb to tuck it in and feel free to double or even triple the amount you can use any remaining piece of dough to clean the pan as you fry next you want to lightly flour a tray and then place the balls of dough on top and proceed on to roll each into a flat bread lightly dust each ball with some flour then use your rolling pin 
to spread it out towards the outside like this and it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because we are still going to add oil in the middle and the oil is what results in flaky and soft chapati so I highly recommend that you don't skip this step Then you just want to lightly oil the surface, spread it around using a spoon, spread some flour lightly on top again, then using the same spoon make a cut in the middle but not all the way through so you're not dividing it into half and then roll it out so that it resembles a, a rope. You can stretch it just a little bit and then you are going to coil it towards the center like this so you get something that almost resembles a cinnamon roll and then when you're done just tap the end repeat the process for the rest of the balls so next you just want to take each coiled dough flatten it out a bit with the pounds of your hand like this lightly dust with flour on both sides and then use your rolling pin to spread it out to a circle. Keep rotating so you get an almost evenly sized circle. And keep dusting with flour if it feels too sticky. Once you have the chapati on the pan, you just want to reduce the heat to a medium. And as it cooks, you'll see it rise. That's sort of a way of letting you know that they are ready. You just need to take a look whether it's browned at the bottom and then flip. Once you have flipped, you want to lightly brush each side with a bit of oil. You can also use your spoon for this. Flip. And allow the oil side to cook. And brush the other side with oil so this looks good and I'm just going to transfer it to a plate and cover it you need to be quick because they're hot it's very important to cover them because they tend to dry out quickly and form a crust so if you want soft chapatis you also want to make sure that you cover them as you go repeat the process for the rest of the rolled balls. Mm -hmm. 